What's up guys? I hope you're all having a great day today. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be breaking down the Florida Gators 2020 football schedule. Florida was a team last year that, that did pretty good in the SEC. Uh, they definitely improved a little bit from 2018. They've been doing good under Dan Mullen so far. Uh, they had a quarterback change around after the first few games, and it turned out to actually help them overall because Kyle Trask had a great season last year. I think his good quarterback play definitely improved how the offense did overall. And for this upcoming season, he's coming back. The team's going to be looking to improve, him, to improve. I definitely think the Gators have an easier schedule than last year, so they should, uh, you know, be better record-wise in my opinion. On the defense, I will say they are they are losing C.J. Henderson. That definitely hurts. I think he's the second best corner in this upcoming year's draft. I would say there's a big gap between him and Jeff Okuda, but still, he's the second best quarterback or cornerback in my opinion in this year's draft. So that hurts, but still overall, the offense should be pretty good. They've got a good pass attack going, and you know, great quarterback in my opinion with Kyle Trask. Could be a sleeper to be a Heisman finalist. You never know. Uh, but without further ado, let's break down the schedule. I'm excited to see how the Gators do. One, Eastern Kentucky. This really shouldn't be a pr or Eastern Washington. This shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Uh, Eastern Washington is an FCS school. This is an easy one for the Gators. Two, Kentucky. All right, so obviously Kentucky beat Florida in 2018. Everybody was going crazy because Florida had that huge streak going against Kentucky prior to that game. They had a huge streak going. People were freaking out, wondering if Dan Mullen was the wrong option. Since then, Florida's done pretty well. I will say, though, last year it looked like Kentucky might get a second, might have gone a second straight win against Florida. That game against Kentucky altered the whole season for Florida. At the start of the game, it really looked like Kentucky might win, but Felipe Franks got injured, and I don't wish anybody to get injured at all, but it did kind of help the Gators in a way, because that's when Kyle Trask came in, and he kind of took over from there, and he managed to pull the Gators back into the game, and the Gators ended up winning in a close one. So the Gators didn't fall twice in a row to Kentucky. They managed to escape in that one. For this upcoming season, I think Kentucky will be pretty good. They have Joey Gatewood coming in. However, they're losing Lim Bowden. That's going to hurt Kentucky fans. They're probably going to miss Lim Bowden. Uh, overall, I think Kentucky should be decent, but in the swamp this year, I'm going to take the Gators here. But Kentucky's definitely at least a 7-5, and five, maybe 8-4 and four team in the SEC East. Three, South Alabama. Shouldn't be a problem here. That's an easy win. Four at Tennessee. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Tennessee's definitely getting better. They're definitely getting better. I like what they're doing under Jeremy Pruitt. I think they're going to be a pretty good football team next year. I think at least eight and four. Uh, you know, I think they're definitely going to be a, a, a serious contender in the SEC East in a few years. So this is going to be a tough game at Nayland Stadium. Not an easy place to play at. I think it'll be a good game here. I do think Florida slightly is more talented, but Tennessee actually, according to 24-7 Sports, has a top 10 recruiting class as well. But I'll take the Gators here. I feel like probably quarterback. Uh, the quarterback situation definitely helps. I think they have a better defense. Uh, so I'll take the Gators here. Five, South Carolina. Not to offend any Gators fans, but I believe South Carolina actually should have beaten uh, Florida. They beat Florida's rival, obviously, Georgia last year, but, but I believe South Carolina actually should have beaten uh, Florida last year. I think it came down to a few plays that South Carolina choked on. Uh, this upcoming season, I think South Carolina still is pretty average, not anything really good. I think the Gators are improving. It's in the swamp. This time, I don't think they have as much trouble. I'm going to take the Gators here. Six, LSU. Big, big game. Big rivalry game here. They play each other pretty much every year. It's always a big game between a really good SEC East team and a really good SEC West team. They've had some great games back and forth between these two programs. This upcoming season, I think it's going to be a good one. You look at it talent-wise, clearly Florida has the advantage. You can't argue with that, whether you're a Florida or LSU fan or just neutral. You can't argue with it. They both have top 10 recruiting classes. I'll admit LSU is a little bit better. But the returning talent clearly favors Florida. I mean, LSU's losing Joe Burrow, who probably had the single best season for a quarterback ever. They're losing they're losing Justin Jefferson, uh, Clyde Edwards Lair at running back, losing him, losing a lot of weapons on the on the defense like Patrick Queen and Grant Delpit. Overall, you get the point. They're losing a lot. And Florida really, in my opinion, besides CJ Henderson, is not. It's in the swamp. I think it's close. I think it's a good game. 
I'm going to give the advantage of the Gators. So I think they win this one. Uh, but I definitely think it'll be a good game. At Ole Miss. Should be interesting. Kiffin. Kiffin has, has to deal with a really tough schedule next year. I look at the schedule for Ole Miss. That should be an interesting one to do. Kiffin's a great coach. But man. They have a tough schedule. I feel bad for him. Ole Miss. You know. They could be a team that that maybe make some noise in the SEC. Uh, maybe get one good win against a, a good team. Besides from that, though, I don't think they'll be incredible. Uh, but overall... I feel like talent-wise, Florida's definitely better. They should win this one, but you never know. You never know. But I would favor Florida here. Bye week, good time to have your bye week right before your biggest game, which is also going to be your only loss in the season. Yes, one more year, I think, where Florida is slightly below Georgia. I think they're getting there slowly. The last few years, they have slowly but surely made it closer. Last year, they only lost by a touchdown. This, though, is not the year. I think George is very, very talented. They have the top recruiting class for 2020. You know, the quarterback situation is a question mark. The running back situation, losing Swift, might be a question mark. But the defense is going to be good, in my opinion. And still, overall, I don't think Jamie Newman or whoever gets a start for Georgia will be that bad. I think they're still going to be a good football program overall. They're getting Scott Co Cochran from uh, Alabama. They should be... A good football program next year, Georgia. It's at a neutral site. World's largest cocktail party. Should be a good game. But I got to favor the Bulldogs here. Definitely the Bulldogs. I think it's close. But just overall, I feel like the Bulldogs are the better football team. So, you know, I, don't, I understand Florida fans don't like to hear that. They hate Georgia. Not this year. Next year, I think you're on their level. And I definitely think I'll get a win against them in a few years. At Vandy, we don't need to go over this game. We know who's winning this one. 11, Missouri. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. Missouri's very average, in my opinion. You know, they have other stuff going on right now that I think is more important. So I, I'm going to take the Gators here. New Mexico State, really tough game. Really tough game to schedule late in the season in the heat of the playoff race. That's a tough game right there. New Mexico State, the team that won like 1-11 last year. What a tough game that is. Uh, man, this is the... Actually, this isn't the week 11's SEC Cupcake Week, I believe, actually. I don't know why Florida has them in week 12. But anyway, right before their other rival, they have New Mexico State. Of course, that's a win. 13 at Florida State. I think it's going to be more interesting this upcoming season. Florida handled its business against FSU last year, of course. FSU is in turmoil, but they've got a good coach now. Mike Norvell is a very good coach, in my opinion. He coached Memphis to a pretty good season last year. They made the Cotton Bowl, won the American Athletic Championship. And it's at Doe Campbell. It's at Doe Campbell. Uh, so, tough place to play. Good coach. Should be interesting next year. I believe Florida State's actually a top 25 team, according to ESPN's FBI. Now, I don't trust the FBI too much. It's sometimes a crazy, crazy rank ranking system. It's not right most of the time, but still, I'm just saying. Uh, but overall, I think Florida's the better team. No choke at the doke this time. So I'm, I'm going to favor uh, the Gators here. I think they win this one. So overall, I have the Gators finishing 11-1 and on the season. I think that's pretty good. I think you finish 5th or 6th in the playoff rankings. It's not enough to get you in, but you come close. In a few years, I honestly believe in a few years, Florida is going to win a national championship again. I think they're poised in a few years to win another national championship. But right now, in my opinion... It's not their time quite yet. They're slowly improving under Dan Mullen. I think they get maybe a Peach Bowl berth. I don't think they'll go back to the Orange Bowl. While they, I don't understand why they would go back to the same bowl game two years in a row. I think the Peach Bowl is a good spot for them. Maybe against like a team that like Notre Dame that finishes with maybe one or two losses, something like that. But they get a good bowl matchup overall. I think they're a very good football team. They're just not at Georgia's level yet. And I understand. I think it's going to be a close one against Georgia on neutral site. To keep that game, keeping a team out of the playoff, I understand it probably is going to hurt Florida fans. It's going to hurt to hear that. But I really do think losing to Georgia, finishing only 11-1, and will keep them out of the playoff. But they definitely will have a great season next year overall. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Uh, yeah. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in.